Ruthless here. I'm coming on today with another DIY to share with you guys. And this DIY that I'm doing, I'm going to be calling it Labor of Love. Let me tell you why I'm calling it that. I have a neighbor and my kids were outside the other day um, planting grass seeds on my lawn, which I had given up on because every year we plant and it just gives trouble and I just totally gave up on it. And then my daughter said, you know what, mom, I'm going to come over and um, we have a barbecue and I look about your lawn for you, which she did. And then about a few days after, my neighbor, that's a little down from me, she came over and she said to me, hi, how are you? I live just a few doors down from you. And she said, I, she saw my lawn and she goes, you know, you have to put a lot of seeds down for the, the grass to grow. They tell you not to put a lot, but just put a lot. And just water it evening and morning and it'll be fine. She said she had trouble with her lawn too. And that's what she did. So she said she would bring me over some grass seeds the next day because she had some extra. I said, oh, thank you so much. And we talked a little bit more than that. But anyways, <clears throat> the next day came now and there was a knock at my door and um, my mom was here. So my mom opened the door for her. And then I went to the door and when I went there, she came with, um, she brought her little um, buggy and she had topsoil and the seeds and everything. And I said, okay, I'm gonna get my son to do it. And she said, no, 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 she's gonna do it. OMG. She put the topsoil down. She put the seeds down, put more topsoil down. And you know, I really appreciate what she did for me. So I said, I'm gonna make her something to show her my appreciation for what she did. Because no matter how simple, the thing is that she did, she did it for me. And I really appreciate that. So I'm gonna make her something nice and bring it over and give it to her. So stay tuned so you can see what I made for her. All right, everyone, <laughs> let's get started. All right, everyone, I've gotten, I have this square box here. I don't remember which store I got it from, if it was Dollar Tree or Dollarama. I honestly don't remember because I've had it a while now. So I'm gonna use this. We have the round vases from Dollar Tree, the candle holders from Dollar Tree. I got a foam ball. The bling wrap from Totally Dazzled. And I got these flowers from Dollar Tree. And I got my bling from Dollarama. Shears to cut the flowers and our glue gun. Alright, we're going to start by gluing the bling all around the square box. And now we're going to glue the gems all along the candle holder. Just glue them all the way around. I know you guys have seen me do this lots of times before. Just glue the gems all the way around. Large ones, small ones, and nice little pattern will come through. All right, now we're going to add the gems to the tea light holder. The small gems going all around. And now we're going to add the tea light holder to the bottom of the vase with our E6000 and have it sit overnight. And then we'll be set. And now it's time to add our flowers to our bling box, you guys.
got your man out here. Tell me where he gone, go. Tell me why your man out here. And now we're gonna use some Mod Podge and some glitter to add glitter all around the bottom of the foam ball. So in between the box, you'll just see the glitter shining through and not the white of the foam ball. And here's the finished look, you guys. My bling, shabby, chic, <laughs> flower centerpiece. My labor of love. I think they look very nice together. I hope she really loves this. I am so happy I made it. I'm, my heart is just filled with joy and appreciation. So I'm gonna bag these up in a gift bag <laughs> and head on over to my neighbor and give them to her. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY that I made, my labor of love. And remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is blessed. Bye-bye, everyone.